Hi, I'm Dr. Ernie Ward. You know how veterinarians are always telling you never leave your pet in a parked car? It gets really hot. This is a typical summer's day. So I thought I would put myself in a parked car and let's see just how hot it gets. Come on. Okay, so I'm your pet and I'm now in the car. I've got all four windows cracked down about an inch. So let's start a timer and let's see exactly how hot it gets in here. The thermometer is reading at right about 94 degrees, 95 degrees. So it's pretty hot in here, but we're just getting started. So let's just kind of sit back and see how it feels in here. Okay, I'm at five minutes in. It is unbelievably hot in here. We're nearing 100 degrees already, and I can tell you that it is stifling in here. Even with all four windows cracked, there is no breeze at all. It is entirely still in here. It, it, uh, it's oppressive. I mean, that's the best word for it. If I'm 10 minutes in. I'll tell you, it is almost unbearable. Uh, at this point, the temperature is about 106 degrees. So, I mean, it's, it's just getting to the point now where I can barely stand it. Uh, there's a breeze outside and it's very frustrating because I can actually see the trees, the wind blowing, and yet even with all four windows cracked between an inch and a half and two inches, uh, there's absolutely no breeze in this car. So if I were a little dog left out here, maybe I'm barking, I'm very nervous, uh, I can only imagine what the core body temperature must be at this point. As I mentioned, it's 106 in here at 10 minutes in, and uh, I'm beginning to wonder if this was a very bad idea indeed. Okay, I'm at 15 minutes now, and it's uh, about 110 in my car. At uh, this point, I would imagine if I were a small dog or a dog that is uh, older, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. It's been 20 minutes now at this point, and it is uh, right, hovering right around 110, 112, it's kind of going back and forth here, uh, depending on when we look at it. But uh, needless to say, it's incredibly uh, hot. 25 minutes. It's now, oh gosh, what is it? 113 degrees. It's, um, it's awful. Uh, the only thought that's going through my head right now is I just, I want out of the car. You know, it's just uh, everything in my body is saying, get out, get out, get out. Uh, I can just feel rivulets of sweat just careening down my body. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, I'm just, I'm fully drenched now. Uh, I have sweat just completely cascading down my face and nose, my lips, um, and I can do that. A dog can't, a dog can't perspire. I mean, the whole point of this exercise was really to see what it feels like. What, what would it feel like to a dog to be stuck in a car? You know, you're helpless. You have no control over what's happening. You don't understand what's happening. You just know that your body is getting so overheated that you can be in real danger. I mean, this kills and it's a lousy way to die. Okay, made it, 30 minutes. 30 minutes in a parked car with the windows cracked. The temperature right now is about 115, 116, really hot. What I really wanted to set out to do was see how it felt to be left in a parked car if I were a dog. And I know what's going on. I'm in control of the situation. What I can't imagine is how helpless and frightening it would be for a dog to be left in a car not knowing when you're gonna come, and slowly but surely having the energy and the life just burnt out of them by this heat. And you can make all the excuses you want. You can say it'll just be for a second. I'm gonna leave the windows cracked. It's a breezy day. It's not that hot. But those excuses are meaningless unless you have sat in that car during that same time. And I can tell you, this has been an eye-opening experience for me as a veterinarian, and it will certainly make me that much more adamant and passionate about telling people never, 
ever leave your pet in a parked car during warm weather.